matter. Anything that has mass and it, if it has volume, then that is classified as matter. Let me tell you anything that you can touch or even if you can feel that, accepting the emotions or the feelings, all of them are considered to be matter. According to Indian and Greek philosophers, in fact our body, the whole body is also composed of five fundamental elements. That is what we call it as in Hindi or Gujarati like Pancha Mahabhut. And those things are nothing but air, water, earth, fire and space. So right from since ages we have been believing that everything, everything on this earth is composed of matter. In fact, matter is made up of particles, very small sized particles. We can prove this if we consider the sugar solution. Normally, if you observe that all the sugar particles in solid form are very closely related, are very closely packed with each other. When we put them in water, what happens? The sugar particles, they accommodate themselves in between the water particles. That means we can always say that the intermolecular space is there because of which the sugar particles can dissolve into water. So while preparing sugar or even the salt solution, the particles of sugar or salt, they accommodate themselves in the intermolecular space of water molecules. That confirms that each and every matter is composed of tiny, but then also they are composed of particles. What are the characteristics of the particles of the matter? The first one that they have intermolecular space in between them. For example, in solids, in liquids and in gases. We shall discuss about the properties of solid, liquid and gases. But then also, the solids, their intermolecular space is very less. The liquids, a little bit more and the gases, the maximum. In fact, this space that helps in mixing of two different substances. That means dissolving a solute in the solvent. Now what is that solute and what is that solvent? That we shall discuss a little bit later in this particular chapter. But it helps in the dissolution of solute into the solvent. Another thing is the particles of the matter are continuously moving. If it is solid then they will be vibrating from the mean position. If it is liquid, that vibration would be a little bit bigger. And if it is gases, then that is free to move, but they are in constantly motion. Again, with the increase in the temperature, the motion, that is the kinetic energy, will keep on increasing. Diffusion is another characteristic property of the matter. Now, what is diffusion? Now, diffusion is the mixing of two different layman's language, first of all. Diffusion is the uh, mixing of two different types of matter. For example, when we put a lump of sugar in water, then what happens? Initially, the sugar molecules, they get free. That means they start dissolving into the water solution. Initially, they are concentrated at the bottom of the water and then gradually they get dispersed throughout the medium in equal proportion. So, diffusion is another characteristic property of the matter. Again, with the increase in the temperature, the rate of diffusion increases. That means, you must have observed that water, uh, sorry, the sugar dissolves in warmer water or hot water much quickly as compared to that in the cold water. That is mainly because the rate of diffusion that increases in hot hot solvents as compared to that in the cooler solvents. There is intermolecular attractive force between the particles of the matter. So, whenever, if it, either it is solid, then maximum interactive force and if it is gases, then least interactive force or negligible interactive force. But this interactive force, it keeps those particles together. Whatever the particles are found, they are kept together because of the intermolecular attractive force. 